I worked two and a half years as a consultant for KPMG, and I kid you not, I spent probably 95% of my time working in PowerPoint. Throughout my two and a half years, I learned many shortcuts that would have saved me a ton of time. So in this video, I'll share my favorite ones. These are just my favorite ones, so I'll probably miss some. If I miss one that you use all the time, comment it below. And now, let's go to the computer. So the first and I think most important advice is creating a quick access toolbar. So this is a quick access toolbar, which is also up here. Just so you know, there's a very big chance that yours is above the ribbon like this. Me personally, I like to have it under it, but at the end of the day, it's a matter of preference. This is important because in consulting, you do a lot of repetitive tasks and you wanna be able to access what you wanna do as quick as possible. So for example, some of the things that I have here that I use all the time when I was a consultant is aligning if you wanna align pictures, logos, etc. Arranging shapes if you wanna bring a shape to the front, send to the back, if you wanna group, ungroup, font size, font color, inserting shapes, etc., etc. So that's what I use, but you can customize it to have things that you use on the daily. And to do that, you're gonna to go to the arrow here and you're gonna press more commands and here you can add commands that you need or remove commands that you don't think that you're gonna need that much and to show you a quick example as to why this is so important so imagine if i wanted to align these shapes normally i would have to go alt j d a a and then middle to align to the middle. So that's a lot of things that I have to type in. However, with the quick access toolbar, you could just do Alt 5M. As you can see, a lot quicker. Now I have some general things here for editing shapes, which I've used a lot. And it's a shortcuts for group and on group. In consulting, you're gonna do a lot of diagrams like the one you see here. And it's important for you to group and on group really fast. So very simple. To group, you're gonna press Control G, and to ungroup the shapes, you're gonna press Control Shift G. Note that, learn it, it's very simple, and you're gonna use it a lot. Next up, when you're working with logos, there's times that you wanna keep the ratio of the picture, because if you don't, and you try to make it bigger without keeping the ratio, it's gonna look weird like that. And an easy way to keep the ratio without having to lock it is pressing Shift, and dragging as you can see it doesn't matter how big or how small i make it it's gonna keep the ratio of the original picture and if you wanted to adjust the size of the picture without using your mouse you're gonna press shift and then you're gonna press right to make it wider or up or down to make it taller or smaller and then lastly let's say we want to have four circles lined up and make all circles gray Instead of copying and pasting the circle on the bottom, I can just press shift, control, and drag it. That's gonna duplicate it and make it so it's lined up to the circle. So if I go diagonally, you'll see it's not gonna, it's not gonna unalign itself from the circle on the left. So I can just duplicate it like that. And there you go. If you didn't press shift, if you just press control, it would duplicate it, but you could move it diagonally and it wouldn't necessarily be aligned as well. So make sure you press shift when you duplicate it. And to make them all gray, you could double click the format painter and that locks the format painter and just click all the circles. But a quicker way is to copy and paste just the format. And to do this, you're gonna do control shift C, then you can select all the circles and you can paste the format by pressing Control Shift B. And there you go, you can paste the format that way. So these are some of the most used tips and tricks to edit shapes that I used. There are obviously a lot more depending on the situation, but I think these are the ones that are gonna come across that you're gonna use the most. Next up, we have complex shapes. Now, before we get into it, I'll say that a lot of consulting firms have templates and different pre-made shapes. But if you wanna be creative and create your own complex shapes, it is very simple to do so. So let's say you wanna create this one, for example, you can just go to insert, smart art and as you can see here you have a bunch of different interesting graphics and if you want to have the one from the slide before you can just click in the one you want and enter and it's going to automatically enter it for you 
Now, an additional tip, I normally don't like to edit smart art. It's just a preference of mine. So if you want them to be just shapes, you can just right click and go to convert to shapes. And there you go. If you want to ungroup it, we go to our control shift G to ungroup them. And there you go. You have your complex diagram that you created in seconds. Next up, we have a shortcut for inserting pictures and icons. And this one actually blew my mind because I would normally go to Google Images, copy the picture and paste it into PowerPoint. But I found a much quicker way recently. And to go there, you can go to your PowerPoint. And let's say we want to show a process for how to make a video. So let's find an icon for scripting a video. You can go to Alt and for Insert. P for pictures and you can go to stock images for the icons and you go to the icons tab and you can look up script and there you go if you want to use that one you can just insert it resize it to fit the little circle and there you have it you have an icon for scripting that fast which is insane and then let's say you script in one note and you want to include the logo for one note you can do the same thing out and P Let's go to online pictures to look up the logo for OneNote. You can look up OneNote logo. There you have it, insert, make it smaller, and you have your logo for OneNote. So very, very, very quick shortcut for including pictures and icons without having to go to Google Images, which is big. So in my previous consulting firm, particularly in the group I worked in, we would have slide templates that would have this square in the slide master. And I'm not gonna go into the slide master, but if you have a shape in a slide master, you can edit it in the slides. So right now, if I wanted to move this square or make it bigger or smaller, I couldn't. And the problem with this is that you can't really align anything that's inside of the square with the square outside. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna add ninja lines so we're able to align what's inside so we're gonna add one here and then one on the bottom we can use the control shift drag that we went over before and we can add another one here and add the and do the control shift drag that i taught you before and now we can go ahead and align what's inside to the middle, we can use our quick access toolbar. We align center, and then we can also align in the middle, quick access toolbar, Alt, five, middle. And there you have it. After that, you can take out your ninja lines. Oh, we don't wanna take out the title. Take out the ninja lines. And it takes a little, but you can align it. So just another tool to have in your consulting toolbox. So there you have it. Those are probably the ones that I use the most, but comment below any others that you guys use all the time. I'm always looking to learn more. Leave a like if you found it useful. I might be doing a part two in the future if the video is successful. So subscribe, we release videos every Wednesday. So we'll see you next week. Peace.